right, man, let's talk about uh, David Albanesian. He is uh, supposed to be rumored to step in for Cody Crowley and fight Jerron Boutinis. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. So I heard a rumor that David Albanesian possibly could step in and fight Jerron Boutinis. Now, at the end of the day, when Terrence Crawford fought Jerron Boutinis, it was an issue. They were saying it was uh, – they were saying, uh, uh, you know, Bonzi and, you know, some of Boots brothers who used to box was calling him David, I think, Amnesia or something like that. So they were talking shit about him, but now they fighting the same guy. All right. Um, now, is he more accomplished than Cody Crowley? Absolutely. Um, he got a lot more bigger wins than Cody Crowley. But at this point, after what Bud did to him, I'm not sure where he at in his career, but he's bounced back from being knocked out before. I think he's fought a few times since fighting T. Bud Crawford, okay? So at the end of the day, it could just be a case where they feel like they just really bought the uh, piggyback boots. I mean, piggyback Bud and start fighting guys that Bud get did and trying to, you know, do that. But, you know, if that was the original plan or if that was a possibility, I think Avanesian probably would have been number one on the case. But, you know, he was hiring IBF and all that type of stuff and, um, and whatever. You know, he was hiring IBF, so they went with Cody Crowley, okay? So uh, we can take a look at these welterweight rankings real quick. And, you know, it's just going to be a showcase fight. That's exactly what it's going to be. You know, even the Cody Crowley fight, it was interesting because Crowley, Crowley brought pressure. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't uh, you didn't know Cody Crowley, Cody Crowley pulled out. He had eye surgery, they were saying. And apparently it was, you know, they didn't clear him after the eye surgery for the fight. So Pennsylvania, I'm guessing the Pennsylvania Boss Commission, didn't clear him to fight. So uh, right now we got these rankings, whatever. And, um, you know, so Albanesian is, is number 14 in these rankings. So if you look at any other sanction the bell body, uh, Albanesian don't even look to be ranked. So they might have paid to get him ranked in there for this, for this, for this exact situation or whatever. So, yeah, I don't see him any other – oh, he's number four in the WBC. So – Think that's good enough for him so uh you know uh you know at the end of the day i don't you know after seeing what bud did to him and all that type of stuff i think it's gonna be hard for people to give ryan in his credit it's just a showcase fight it's his first fight with match room they're not gonna put him any they're not going to put him in any real danger okay uh you know they're not gonna put him in any real danger so you know um you know, then lose their investment off the rip. So we know that's not going to happen. So, um, you know, he supposed to be stepping in, doing his thing, man, and, and fighting boots. I mean, for a, a lot of other people, um, they probably would say, you know, it's a uh, it's a good, you know, it's a solid fight. You know, people coming to, 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 to you know, people, most people that probably bought tickets, I heard they, the tickets did really, really well. Um, you know, I heard the tickets did really, really well for boots. So with that being the case, for most people, um, you know, that's probably going to come come and see this fight. They probably like, you know, it didn't matter. Crowley, Albanesian, you know, close enough. It wasn't like he was, you know, going out there fighting Bud. And then they go out to Amnesian or they go out there, they want to fight Errol Spence and now it's Amnesian. Uh, they were just coming out to show support, you know, Boots fighting at the crib, you know, headlining the main event and, you know, making this, you know, making this way. As a star, as Leonard LB say, Tank's a star, Boots a star, you know. So that's what they was doing. So at the end of the day, I think it's a um I think it's a solid matchup. Um, honestly. Um I think it's a real solid matchup, but you know, it's probably over in like four rounds. Um, you know, and I could be wrong on that. Uh but uh it could be over in like four rounds or whatever, but uh, let me see real quick what Albanesian he been doing lately. But, yeah, it could be over in four rounds or whatever. Um, but he has revived his career before. He's 35 years old. He'll be 36 in August. Um, okay. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, he's fought only one time since fighting Bud. And that was last December. So he took a year off, over a year off since fighting Bud. But since last December, he came back and, uh, in the U.K. and fought 
Serge Ambo, whoa, whoever that was, 11 55 and three. So he came back and fought a straight bum. He made some good money, they said, you know, fighting on BLK Prime. So, um, but it's been what about six months since he last fought? You know, uh, well, it'll be over six months because it'd be in July. So, um, at the end of the day, you know, for him, uh, it'd be over six months. So, with that being the case and whatever. You know, he brought here for Sacrificial Lamb. You know, he was known for being the UK killer. Um, you know, getting a bunch of upsets in the UK or whatever. So, um, you know, Eddie Hearn going to make sure he pay them Europeans and get them paid. Man, that's just, you know, what it is, whatever. But um, but uh, but nonetheless, you know, it's a solid uh, step-in fight. I don't know how long, how much longer, you know, uh, you know, how much better or worse Cody Crowley is, but his style to pressure boots would have been very, very interesting. You know, only thing Cody Crowley really missing is the ability to punch. And had he had the ability to punch, he'd probably be world champion right now. So I just thought really from a stylistic standpoint with him really closing the gap on boots, it really, it really, you know, it really made for an, for an exciting fight. In my humble opinion, it really made for an exciting, exciting, exciting fight. So, um, I was happy about the style clash, but you know, if people was on the fence or about going to this fight, I don't think this changes anything with the opponent change. You know, um, I don't think this changes anything with the opponent change, honestly, bro. You know, uh, I think Albanesian is is more accomplished. You know, in my opinion, I feel that Albanesian is more accomplished. I said again. I feel that Avanesian is 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 more accomplished. That's what I feel. I feel that Avanesian is more accomplished, but Cody Crowley might be hotter right now, being younger, undefeated, fresher. And I really, really like the style. Um I really, really like the style that that he brought to the that he bring to the table for boost because We've seen a similar style with Gary Anton Russell giving problems in the amateur. So they'd like to see, you know, how he would deal with being pressured, you know, you know, here. And I understand people say, well, that last guy, you know, uh, pressure boots. I forget the brother's name. Um, Avila, you know, and then he couldn't really do nothing with boots. So people bring that up like that brother couldn't do nothing with boots. But um you know, he stood right in front of him. Cody Riley, you know, he gave you a little sauce there and there, here and there, and whatever. So, um, but yeah, you know, I walk out. I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I don't think it's a bad replacement um, at all. So, um, overall, they, they had to figure that, you know, Eddie Hearn did well. They didn't have to cancel the date. And it's hard to cancel the date when you got insurance, you just booked the insurance, booked the venue, and all that shit. It's hard to cancel the date. You know, the fighters on the, on the undercard, they expect him to get a check. They put uh, Jaleel Hackett on the undercard. He fighting uh, Peter Dobson, the guy who kind of being fought uh, not too long ago and didn't look like shit. It ain't looked like shit since uh, – it ain't looked like shit since uh, since uh, since he got popped. Give him more validity that, you know, honestly that, you know, he took that shit. You know, I give people more validity than believe believe that he took that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, you know, they couldn't cancel this fight for Boots. How long Boots been out the ring for it too? Let's see how long this brother been out the ring. You know, so he ain't been in the ring since, shit, last July. July 8th. So he ain't been in the ring since July 8th. So, um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, can't do too much shit about it. You know? Um, but, you know, that's Al Heyman. I think Cody Crowley had been out the ring for quite some time. So he hadn't fought since March of last year, and that probably was on the uh, Caleb Plant undercard with David Benavidez. 
Yep, he ain't fought since March of last year. So, you know, a bunch of inactivity on PBC, but a lot of people are talk, uh, be talking about, oh, ain't nothing wrong with PBC. They all right. They ain't good standings. Bullshit. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, uh, you know, Apple Podcasts. Uh, check out, check out the Patreon. Appreciate everybody for supporting the Patreon. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.